Good evening, everyone. Hello, my friends. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. To this news section. How many people do we have? Only us five people? <coughs> that means the rest are uh, watching the soccer match. Somos pendientes. Half and a half. <laughs> Really difficult. Okay, remember that today what we are going to do is a review about the topics that we have studied during the week. And also we are going to read Let me see if I can put on another light that I have here. Here we go. Almost ready to stir now. Okay, I got more, let me see, 13. Thank you. 
Okay. Let us start now. What we are going to do today is that um, we are going to make a review of what we have been studied during this day. But first of all, let me check out the Okay, let me see. I got it here. I got it. Okay, another card. Present teacher. Hey, Angel. Present teacher. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Giovanni. Present teacher. Hey, Harrison. Present. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Eh, Karina. Present. Linda. Present. María Idalia. María Idalia. No, ah, yeah. María Julia. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Eh, Marvin. Nancy Ivette. Nancy. Not here. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Welcome. Raquel. Present teacher. Eh, Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Suleima. Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara del Carmen. No eh, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. It's not here. Okay. Ah. Oh. It's there. It's there. It's there. Okay. Come back. Welcome back. Okay. Before to start talking about what we are going to do, uh, I would like you remember me some impression about what we studied yesterday. Do you remember that? It's not a low teacher. Oh, yes, okay, okay, tell me. 
is not allowed to use the phone during working. Okay, okay. It is not allowed to use cell phone during you are working. Okay, somebody else, please. Tell me. Tell me, please. Somebody else? And don't. Okay. Another example, please. Hello, hello, hello. It's not allowed okay, to okay. eat. It's not allowed to eat in working hours. Okay. Excellent. Somebody else, please. Um, it is not allowed to drink beer in the company. Ah, oh, it's not allowed to drink beers inside the company, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Somebody else, please, somebody else. Remember that what we are doing is just uh, making a review about the, the topic that we studied yesterday. Okay, somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. It's not allowed to smoking inside company. It is not allowed to smoke to smoke inside smoke. the company. Okay, teacher, yeah. smoke. To smoke, to smoke. Okay, smoke, to smoke. Yeah. No one to smoke inside company. Yeah, inside Okay, teacher, company. thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody else, please. Somebody else. Topping, topping how to use is not allowed. Is not allowed mm, to take tools home. Ah, it's not, it's not, not, a, not allowed, allowed to use cell, cell phones. Okay. Excellent. What else? Okay, Mas. Use, use those and don't workplace. Ah, ah okay. Okie dokie. And do you remember that at the end of the class, I asked you to write a paragraph of six lines? Se recuerdan que al final de la clase les dije que iban a escribir un párrafo con seis líneas? Talking about prohibition in your workplace. Do you remember that? Using not allowed to. Somebody want to share with us? ¿Alguien quiere compartir con nosotros qué es lo que escribió? Teacher, yo ayer se las dije, pero si gusta, se las vuelvo a decir. Ok, en vista de... It's ¿Quieren not practicar? A... Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Ana. It is it's not allowed to eat in the working hours. Okay. It's not allowed to arrive late. Is not allowed to sleep in working hours. Is not allowed to speak out. Speak up, okay. Uh, let me see only, let me see the two words. 
two words that you need to repeat again. Could you read the second one? Puede leer la segunda oración que leyó. Is not allowed to arrive late. Ah, to arrive, to arrive. Arrive. Sorry, arrive, <laughs> arrive late. Okay, okay. Arrive late. Okay, excellent. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Who wants to tell me what he or she wrote about it, please? I'm still waiting. Sigo esperando, sigo esperando. Es lo que hicieron ayer. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hello. Me teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. Our boss is not allowed to mistreat his staff. Okay. The provider is not allowed to come after office hours. Uh, after office hour. Oh. Uh, hour, hours. Hours, hours. hours. Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you, teacher. Uh, yeah, keep in mind that the letter H sometimes oh, okay. is silent. Okay, thank uh, you, Yeah, sometimes it is silent. Okay. It is not allowed to eat in work, work how hours. Okay, hours, excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah. It is not allowed to smoke inside company. Oh, okay. He's not he's not allowed to use the cell phone during work. Oh, okay, during the work time. Okay, excellent. That's all, teacher. That's all, okay. teacher. Thank, thank you, Angel. Thank you. Okay, somebody up, please. Somebody else, somebody else, please. I am waiting. Remember, if you want that our select a win the soccer match, you need to participate. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it now, please. Somebody else. Somebody else. No más, por favor, no más. Only one. Hey, me teacher. We do it, sir. Uh, in my company, it is not allowed to drink beer. Uh, it is not allowed to leave late for safety of each employee. In my company, a discrimination is not allowed. 
inside and outside okay. the company. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, thank you. I do really appreciate your participation, okay? Okay, um, before to go to the first slides and the data lab in the diapositiva, I need that someone of you tell me the topic that we studied this week. Alguien que me mencione los temas que vimos en esta semana que ya pasado que estamos cerrando. There is and there are. Okay. What else? Should and should not. Mm. Oh, no. Is that true? Last week. No, it was. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was the first week. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, I uh, don't remember. <laughs> okay. What else? World, world to mark steps in a process. Mm. Okay, solo los temas que vimos eh, desde el día jueves hasta el día de hoy. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Esa sería la semana para nosotros. Yes. Yeah. Me, okay, okay, no, no problem, no problem. But we already started that topic too. También estudiamos. Direction. Uh -huh. Direction to uh, yes. instruction. Okay, okay, okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Manifestation. Manifestation. Me? Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Finally, allow and allow and not allow. Okay. Excellent. Okie dokie. Here we go. Okay, I know I don't know if you all of you got the material there, but uh, in order to start the review, we are going to read. We have a reading. Let me see the page is uh, 27. Maybe I'm going to show you right here the book. I already got also in, in uh, PowerPoint, but let me see how it's going to be better. Let me try this. For, Okay, we already talked about this and made the review. And what we are going to do is that we are going to read the polygon article for giving instruction to a staff. At the end of the reading, what you are going to do is that you are going to check up through or fall. I don't know what is happening here because I'm seeing some name at my left side. 
Okay, let me try to do it in this way. Can you see it very well? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay. Before I, before I read, I need that you uh, read it by yourself, no, aloud. Antes de que yo lo lea, necesito, les pido que lo lean, identifiquen a uh, todas aquellas palabras que puedan ser como serio complicadas para ustedes. Do you have it? Yes. Not this year. Okay, okay. I, I know that uh, maybe you are going to find out a lot of words that are difficult for you to understand and maybe to pronounce. But I'm going to help you to do that, okay? Okay, let her read it in a slowly way. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Right here, it is a mistake. It's a missing a, a letter. Whilst most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on, they are not my readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contacts in different departments or organization. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Okay. I need that you identify first all the words that you consider that are difficult. And I guess that it's going to be better if I show you the book, because in the book I can, uh, well, also maybe here I, I can underline some words. And in en the libro también aparece la palabra así. Hasta que ya la tenía acá, me fijé que le falta una letra L aquí. It's a L. While most people. ¿Qué significa, Ticho? Ok. El significado de esa palabra es mientras que, ¿sí? En tanto que, aunque, la mayoría de personas en su oficina o negocio son intuitivas a los cambios, ellos no son lectores de la mente. Y así sucesivamente, you know? Okay, uh, let me see. I'm going to stop uh, sharing this. Michelle. Hello? Excuse me. ¿Y a dónde lleva la L? Eh, esa palabra. La lleva después de, eh, antes de la S. Antes de la S. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Ahorita okay. le mando. 
I'm going to show you the books. I, I got it here. Ah, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you in the book. Se lo voy a mostrar en el libro porque a mí no es que me guste sacarle la, lo malo de que tienen los materiales algunas veces. Okay, you can see it here. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's wild. Yeah, wise, wise. Yes. Okay. I guess it's going, to, it's going to be better if I show you it right here. Mejor lo vamos a ver aquí para que así se nos sea más fácil y no se nos pierda nadie. It is enough in that way, or it's going to be better in this one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to read it again. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they said. The assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assume people know what you mean. Whilst most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on, they are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry accounting to who to contact in different department or organization. It would only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Okay, como notan, vamos un poco leyendo como un poco más rápido. El objetivo es que comprenda qué es lo que estamos leyendo, que ese va a ser otro detalle. Okay. I'm going to read it again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Usted me dice, ah, oh, well, se lo voy a leer un poco más rápido, luego vamos a, a hacerlo muy lento de nuevo, okay? Okay, don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they said. The assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assume people know what you mean. While small people in your office for business will be in retirement and switch on, they are not mind reader. An imperative when delivering a clear instruction is not to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronym to, to contact in different department or organization. It would only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Okay, you got the material, right? You have the material, okay? Can I stop uh, sharing? Hello? Hello. Yes, teacher. Ah, me, me están oyendo. Ah, ok, ok. Yo sé que tenemos, tienen un oído por allá y otro oído por allá. Y entonces, sí. Ya sabemos lo que dicen. Es una suposición. La suposición es la madre de todos los errores. Sí, comprendemos eso. Yes, teacher. Y hay una palabrita que, eh, pues ahí le voy a dejar mi tarea que usted la busque porque no se la quiero decir así. Fool. Don't be the fool that assume people know what you mean. ¿Qué significa? Ustedes díganmelo. Yo sé que saben. No seas qué. Tonto. Ah, ok, no seas el tonto que supone que la gente sabe lo que quiere decir. Mientras que la mayoría de las personas en su oficina o negocio ajá, serán intuitivos, pero no son lectores de la mente, es decir, psychos. No tienen esa magia para leer exactamente. Podemos intuir, pero no, 
leer la mente. ¿Sí? ¿Vamos comprendiendo? Yes. Yes. Ah, ok. Somebody want to tell me an imperative when delivering clear instruction? ¿Sí? ¿Qué hay ahí? ¿Qué hay ahí? Muy imperativo a la hora de entregar las instrucciones claras es no asumir que el destinatario sabe lo que quiere decir. Y esto puede ser parte de cualquier cosa, desde acrónimos de la industria hasta a quién contactar en diferentes departamentos o organizaciones. Solo te llevará unos segundos más explicar los detalles. Kind of complicated, right? Okay, uh, how many words do you don't know in, in this paragraph? ¿Cuántas palabras subrayó que desconocía? Dígame. Dígame. Hello. No me dice. Muchas dicho. A lot of words, ok. Ok, excelente. Uh -huh. And the problem is that you need to understand what we are talking about it because uh, necesita usted de lo que estamos hablando porque tenemos que responder unas preguntitas por ahí. ¿Comprende? Yes. Ok, pero creo que vamos así como... No sé si vamos lentos o vamos con una velocidad bien. ¿Qué me dicen? Hello. No me dicen nada. More or less. Ah, more or less. Ah, ah, ah. O sea que no estamos ni bien ni mal. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Ok, tranquilos. Como dicen los chicos en la escuela, tranqui, dice tranqui. No sé cómo es que hacen esas abreviaciones. Tranquil. <ríe> Okay, let us continue reading, please. I'm going to show you the next paragraph. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see here. I'm going to show you in the book. I guess it's going to be better. Come on. So I got it here. Okay, be clear and specific. Okay, everyone loves it waffle, dripping maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially not in a, an email when it is a set of interruption. Whilst you don't want to rumble on in your set of interruptions. That would be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your interactions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to put it up and would rather get a stride to be to the point on what needs to be action or deliver rather than making the interaction too flowery which will only confuse. Okay, read it please, slowly, léalo despacio, por favor. Tratemos de comprenderlo, no se preocupe. Despacio, despacio. Okay, hold on, hold on.
Read it, please. Read it, please. And try to underline all the words that you don't know. It is done, yes. Hello? Hello. Hello, yes, teacher. Okay, but if you need more time, just tell me. No problem. Si necesita más tiempo, solo avisen. Que tampoco vamos a ir volando. Okay, I'm going to read it again. The second paragraph said, be clear and uh, specific. Everyone loves a waffle, dripping in a maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially not in an email or when it is a set of interaction. Why else you don't want to rumble on in your set of interaction? That would be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do not want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bet it up. Then we we'll rather get a strike to be the point on what needs to be action and deliver rather than making the instruction too flowery. We will only confuse. Se lo leo más despacio. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No me dicen. Y yo digo, estoy leyendo despacio. Ok, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Dripping in maple, maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation. And especially not in an email or when it is a set of interactions. While you don't want to rumble on in your set of interactions, that would be a waste of your time. And to be honest, listen, honest, honest. they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your interactions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and could rather get a strike to be that point on what needs the action and the lever. Rather, than making the interaction too flowery, which will only confuse. Okay. Any question right here? No teacher. No question? It's clear, no teacher. Ah, okay, okay, it's clear. I like that, I like that, okay. Let's go to the paragraph number three. Give time frames. 
with time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet oh, your staff who you have entrusted consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Okay. I'm going to read it again in time frames. Do not, do not confuse matter by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have in practice consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or prior. Later on, you are going to read it, okay? Luego lo van a leer ustedes, pero quería como estar más seguro de que tengan, eh, estén más familiarizados con la pronunciación. Any problem here? Any question here in this paragraph? Hello. Yes, teacher. Do you have do you have question? No, no question. No, no question. question. No. Okay, question, number four. Teacher. Give example. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your, right here is missing a letter, aquí le falta una letra, to your interaction and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Give example whenever possible, cuando sea posible, make sure you give example, asegurese dar ejemplos. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role. Esto será muy beneficioso. Eh, especialmente si ellos son nuevos en esa posición or if they haven't carried out the task before o si nunca habían hecho algo antes parecido. This will help to add clarity to your interaction and help for a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Esto le agregará claridad a las instrucciones y le ayudará a estar más claro, una imagen más clara de lo que usted quiere y Está diciendo. Okay, now uh, I don't know if you have any question here in this paragraph. No? No, teacher. Okay, me gusta. Que se haya comprendido. Okay, aquí viene entonces eh, the chance, the opportunity that you can read it. Okay, I need to see somebody else who wants to read it, please. Alguien que quiera leerlo, por favor. Ahora recuerden que van a leer. A, a la velocidad que ustedes puedan. ¿sí? Si, por ejemplo, yo lo leo rápido, eso no quiere decir que usted va a, a ir buscando el mismo tiempo. No, no, no. Usted léalo eh, a su velocidad, siempre respetando los puntos y las comas. ¿sí? ¿Quién se atreve? ¿Quién se atreve? Okay, let me see your faces. You, I, I guess that you have uh, your material, right? Creo que tienen su material, ¿es cierto? Yes, teacher. Okay, I want to see your faces. At the moment that you are going to be reading, I need to see your faces. Me, teacher. Oh. 
volunteers. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejia de Alvarez. <laughs> the, the, assume you know what you mean. You know what it says. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be default. That assumes people know what you mean. Which most people in your office or business will be entity in Swiss home. They are known mean readers. An imperative when delivered clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean in this game before anything from industry acronyms to how to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain details. Okay, right here is Wiles, Wiles, Mine, Who. Okay, repeat, Wiles. Wise, wise. Mine, mine. Mines. Who? Who? Yes. Who? Who? Mines. Who? Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. Somebody Thank else you. want to read the second one, please? Alguien quiere leer el segundo párrafo, por favor? Be clear and specific. Me teacher. Okay, yeah. Be clear and specific. Everyone love a web grimping in May. Sure, please, but no one like web in conversation and specific, special, not in an email or when it is a set of instruction. Rules you don't want to run on your set of instruction. That will be a waste of your time and to be honest, they switch off after a while. Do you want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise? Personally, I prefer not to better it works and um, will right get a sign to be the point on what needs to be at action on the liver right there that marking the instruction to flow which will only confuse okay rather rather say it rather rather waffle waffle Teacher, I cannot listen because it's raining in my house. Ah, uh, it is raining in your house. Yes. Okay, okay. I don't know if you are using a uh, handset. Está usando a handset or not? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Okay, somebody I want to read number three, please. Alguien quiere leer el número tres, por favor. Luego comenzamos de nuevo con la redundancia. Okay, tell me. Okay, and give time, friends. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time, friends, and deadlines. What you consider as soon may be very different from your colleague, colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have introduced consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Okay, thank you. Number four, please give examples. Volunteers, volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. Number four, give example. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new 
to the road, or if they have have it carried out the task before, did we have to add clarity to your instruction and help form a clearer picture of what is your means and want? Okay, okay. Carry out, carry out. Carry out. Yeah, carry out. Carry out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm going to read the last time. Se lo voy a leer la última vez. I know that sometimes it's really difficult for you because you need to get familiar with some words. Okay, don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. While most, most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on, they are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronym to who to contact in different departments or organization. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. The second one said, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle dripping in a maple syrup place, but no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of interruptions. Whilst you don't want to ramble on, ramble on in your set of interruption, that could be a waste of your time and to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your interactions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bat it up and would rather get to strive to be to the point on what needs to be optioned and delivered rather than making the interaction too flowery which will only confuse. And number three is the key time frames. Do not confuse matter by not being specific with your time frames and deadline. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon in the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have interacted consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. And the last one, number four, is a give example. Whenever possible, make sure you give example. This will be especially beneficial if they are not are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the stuff before. This will help to add clarity to your interaction and help form a clearer picture of what it is mean and what. Okay, based on that, what you're going to do is that you need to answer this statement that we have here, but at the instruction up says, la instrucción arriba dice, Read the following article about giving instruction to a staff and check true or false for the item below. That means that you are going to choose. If you consider that the first one is true, you are going to write down letter T. But if you say that it's false, you are going to write down letter F. Number one, according to the article, it is fine to make assumptions? Yes or no? Okay, we're on it, please. Trabajemos en eso, por favor. You have uh, like three minutes of four. Ah, but before, en lo que ustedes hacen eso, yo chequeo la asistencia, por favor. Asistencia, estás ahí. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
Asistencia, parece. What's going on with my camera? Suddenly I start working. Okay, here we go again with the assistant. Hey, another Carmen. Present teacher. Angel. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Giovanni. Present teacher. Person. Present. Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Ahí está, ahí está Juan Carlos. Eh, Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. María y Dalia. María y Dalia. Se fue para el estadio. María Julia. Present teacher. Marlene. Present. Ahí está Marlene. Ay, ustedes decían que no estaba. Nancy. Ah, sí. Present teacher. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Norma. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Rafael. Rafael. Okay. Uh, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Reinaldo. Present teacher. Suleima. Present teacher. Ahí está. Mire, usted diciendo no. Venido. Sumara. Present teacher. Ahí está también. ¿eh? Eh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ahí está. He eh, 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 ahí. Toda la tripulación. Ok. Here we go again. Okay, I hope that you work on the exercise that I told you, right? Did you finish? Terminó? El ejercicio que le dije que hiciera? No? Yes. No. No. Están hablando de Carlos, no sé qué, por ahí Carlos y Gaeta. Okay, number one, according to the article, did it find too many assumptions? What do you think? No. False. Oh, it, is, it is false. Okay, false. 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 No, no, number two, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. 
It is true, right? It is true. Okay, excellent. Uh, number three, people will get confused with the direction if if we use too many words. True. true. It is true. true. Number four, to avoid misunderstandings, one should be very clear in time frames. True. 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 Okay. And number five, it is fine if the employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. False. False. Okay, read it again. I'm going False. to read it False. again. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. It is fine if the employees make a mistake. Será correcto que los empleados cometan un error y hasta más tarde les doy un ejemplo. Yes, yes, teacher. Mm. Oh. See oh. here, the oh. lady. Oh, yeah, it is oh. It is oh. It is full because we need to give example at the moment that we are explaining the interaction, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Do you remember the first topic that we studied this week? ¿Te recuerdan del primer tema que estudiamos esta semana, cierto? Yes. Tell me. Yes. There, there, there is. There is, there are, okay. There are. Okay, let us try to do something. <laughs> Digo, probemos porque no sé si a todos les va a funcionar what I'm pretending to do. Lo que estoy tratando o pretendiendo hacer. Let me try to do it. Let me try to do it, okay? I need that you take a look of the Azure group. Let me see, where is it? Where is it, where is it, where is it? Before, give first. First. I got it here, okay. Let me try to do it. Vamos a tratar de ver si lo podemos hacer así. Okay, uh, I'm going to ask you not to show anything on the screen. And I'm going to mute my computer too. Okay, I got it. Okay, try to access to the link that I send you. Trate de acceder al link que le envíe. Por favor. En, su, en el grupo está. ¿Pudieron? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. We are going to start. Uh, how can I tell you this? Uh, well, uh, si lleva música, traten de mutear sus, sus micrófonos para que no se vaya a oír para acá el sonido. Al momento de que finalicemos, tranquilos, vamos a hacer la revisión. Es, uh, remember that it's an exercise about uh, the topic that we have started. Es uh, un repaso de los temas que hemos visto. Así que tranquilos. Here we go, here we go. I have Juan Carlos, Karina, Giovanni, Yvette, eh, Xiomara, Nancy, Norma, Ana, no lo veo a todos. Hmm, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos.
Ok, tranquilos, concentraditos. These kind of exercises are really good in order that you can remember what we have studied. Okay, try to remember how we are going to use there is and there are. It's done, Karina. Yes. I got I got your point here. <laughs> yeah, I I have seen your your result. Vamos a hacer aquí, teacher. Okay, tranquilito, tranquilitos. Si ya terminamos, tranquilo. Vamos a esperar que terminen los demás. Y eh, le pregunto cómo sintió el ejercicio. Easy. Yeah. Right. Kind of easy, right? Sí, para que todos tengan 10. Pero en este caso, 100. Let me see how many of you are. Uh, let me see, Christy and Reynaldo, no pudieron. In this teacher. Ahí va Christy, ahí va Christy. Reynaldo, Reynaldo. Ahí va Reynaldo, ahí va Reynaldo también. Excellent. Ok, solo estamos esperando a Reinaldo, a Cristi, Xiomara y Suleima y Ángel. Solo sienes, solo sienes. Bueno, Cristi va subiendo. Ahora está en la in the last position. And now is in the 15. Okay, now if you finish, uh, I need that you try to remember some sentences using there is and there are, because you are going to give me some example in order to be sure that you are uh, able to use these two words. Okay, Xiomara, Giovanni, Norma, Christy, and Suleyma. Let me see, let me see. Finish, teacher. 
So then, no? Yes. Let me see your position here. Uh, October uh, 75%. Okay, 75%. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. And Christy is missing one, I guess. Te falta una, Christy. Finish, teacher. Finish? Finish. Okay. It is done. No, Ana Cristina is again. Ana Cristina, you are studying again or what happened? Ana Cristina and Ana del Carmen. Hmm. 11 correct. Ok, todos terminaron, ¿cierto? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, done. Ok, I'm going to finish. Yes, teacher. I'm going to end. I want to see who is in the first one place. Jesus. Raquel got the first position. Reinaldo got the second one and Karina the third one. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And Xiomara. Just a metro. Uh -huh, okay. Tengo once sin intentar. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, well, I'm not pretty sure the, the order that appeared to you. A chicken, How um, what, what I'm going to use? There is or there are? There is. There is a chicken, okay. What about a sandwich? There is. There is. There is a sandwich. Okay. Uh, four tomatoes. There are. Okay. Yo le puse uh, there are y me salió mala. Really? Sí, no sé si me habré equivocado. No. Okay, teacher. Entonces, bueno. there is. O there are. No, right here is a, you have a, a plural, four tomatoes. Yes. Tomatoes. There are. There are it's four plural. tomatoes. Yes. No. A pineapple. There oh. is. Okay, there is a pineapple. Uh, ten apples. There are. There are. Okay, uh, two lemons. There are. There are. There are. There are. Uh, one broccoli. There is. There is. Uh, 15 eggs. There are. There are. There are. There are. Some tomatoes. There are. There are. Some better. There is. Mm -hmm. Some better. Mucho son. There are. No. There is. There is some better. Okay. Some cheese. There is. There is. There is some cheese. Okay. Five oranges. There are. There are. There are. Okay, and that, that is the last one. Okay. Okay, Doki. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now can you tell me some example, your own example using there is and there are, please? Ahora me puede dar algunos ejemplos ustedes usando there is and there are. 
sus propios ejemplos. Dime. There is two dogs in the park. There? There are two dogs in the uh -huh. park. <laughs> There is one pencil in, in the table. Okay. There is the one computer in the house. There is one computer in the house, okay. What else? Another example, please. Another example. Hello. Tell me. There is a bus station in San Miguel. There is a bus station in San Miguel, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Tell me. Okay, let us resolve this exam, this, this exercise, please. Resolvamos el siguiente ejercicio, por favor. Extra grammar practice. Fill in the blank using there is and there are. Okay, you can you are going to do it in uh in your in your in your notebook, okay? Usted lo va a hacer en su cuadernito. Any paper in the printer, any computer available, enough personnel at your company, many conference rooms in your workplace, much light in your workplace, many things to do every day, good places to have a break. A break. But if you want, okay, let me do it this first. Vamos a hacer este mejor primero. Permítame un segundo. Hey, hold on. No, ya comenzaron a hacerlo. Okay, do it, do it now. Later on, we are going to do it. Try to solve it. Don't worry about it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm here. Take your time, don't worry about it. Take your time. Tranquilo, tome su tiempo. Okay, I have it here. Any paper in the printer, any computer available, enough personnel at your company, many computer run in your workplace, much light in your workplace, many things to do every day. And the last one said good places to have a breakfast. Okay. I'm ready. Ready. Did you finish? Not yet? Finish. Finish. Okay, let me see. I need that all of you finish. Then that way we are going to check out.
Okay, I'm here. Remember that what you need to write down is just uh, two words. Lo que necesitamos solo son escribir dos palabritas, ¿cierto? ¿Cuáles son esas dos palabras? Ser en arder. Ok. Para ayudarles a los que no han terminado, ¿cuándo uso is there? When I'm going to use it, is there? ¿Cuándo? Singular. Ajá. Okay, um, we are going to give you a hand in order to resolve these exercises. Remember that it's just a review. Es solo es un repaso, no, no se preocupe. Okay, I'm going to show you. Uh, let me see. Okay, I need seven volunteers who want to solve it. Is there any paper in the printer? Okay, is there any paper in the printer? Okay, si lo tienen así, it's right. Number two. Is there... Okay, say it, say it. Dígalo, dígalo. Hello. Are there any computers available? Available. Available. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you tell us why 
or how you decide to put those words there? ¿Cómo hizo para decidir poner esas palabras? Díganos. Because computers is our plural. Excellent. Okay. Because the word computer is in plural. Okay, number three, please. Number three. Are there are no personnel at your company? Are there enough personnel at your company? Okay, well, somebody wants to tell me what is the singular word as personnel? ¿Cuál es el singular de personnel? Es personal, personal. Is this personal, personal, okay? Is there. Hello? Is there? Are there. Are there. Sí, porque eso es lo que estaba tratando de, de decirles, que esta es, es la palabra en plural. Y cuando es en singular, it is personal. ¿Se recuerdan? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Number four. Number four. Number four, please. Are there Are many there... conference room rooms in your workplace? Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Okay. Next. Siguiente, por favor, number, number five. Is there much light in your workplace? Is there much light in your workplace? Okay, that's right. Number six. Are there, Are there many things, many things, to, things do to do every day? Are there many things to do every day? And number seven. Are there good places to have a break? Are there good places to have a break? Okay, excellent. Si respondieron así, you are doing well, okay? Let me see the time that we have. Okie dokie. Was difficult or easy? Easy teacher, easy. Verdad que todo está easy. Oh, se los he puesto easy, easy boy, easy boys. Todo facilito. Okay. Hagamos uno más. Eh, that is going to be in your, your cell phone. Okay, just let me know if you got. Ready? Ready or not ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, put your name on it. Put your name on it, please. Kerson, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Right. Uh, Xiomara, ready? Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Nancy. Nancy. Yes, teacher. Norma. Okay. Yes, teacher. Juan Carlos, ready? Yes, teacher. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, try to read it, please. Recuerde que es un review el que estamos haciendo. No esté preocupada ni preocupado. Read carefully. Lea cuidadosamente every question. Cuidado, Nicole. Cuidado, Nicole. Be careful. Be careful. You need to read. Harrison, Harrison, Harrison. <laughs> ah. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching all of your answers.
Okay, you need to concentrate and really, really careful. Really, really, really careful. Karina is done, Juan Carlos is done, Ana is done too. Person, Raquel, Norma. Okay, remember that uh, in this kind of exercise, you put in practice what you have learned. Okay, I like that. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I'm just waiting to Reynaldo and Angel and, well, Reynaldo in the second round. Okay, in order to finish today, um, well, I'm going to let them finish. We are going to work in the exercise number two or the page 28. You are doing well, you got the good points. Angel, Don Angel, terminó Don Angel. Finished teacher. Okay, 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 okay. And Reynaldo? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Did you finish too? Okay. Okay, I'm going to end it. this. Um, and let me see who is the winner. Karina got the first play, Rafael the second one, and Carlos the third one. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, maybe you are going to have the, the feedback or the question later on. Okay, in order to finish because of the time, I need to that we are going to work in the exercise number two of the page number 28. Is this when I scramble the words to create sentences? If you don't get the material, just make an screenshot, please, now. Si no tiene el material, por favor, haga una captura. Ya la hizo. Sí. Okay. And this exercise, you are going to work it in group of three. Ah, oh, but this are uh, 17, let me see. Okay, it's going to be this way. Try to work together, please.
one, two uh, are four and one is four, two. Ok, para que avancemos, los que van cuatro, a, cada uno trabaja una oración para que no rinda. Y los que van tres, uno toma la uno, el otro la dos y el otro la tres, luego se ayuda. Let me see, three minutes is enough. Ok, try to walk together. Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina, go to your room, please. Ana Cristina. Okay, in this moment, they are uh, making a review of the last topic. They are in trios and that way they are helping each other. And later on, we are going to check out what they did, what they are going to do, okay. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Let us see what you have. Okay, number one, who wants to read it, please? A volunteer, a volunteer. Un voluntario que quiera leernos la uno, por favor. Me teacher, you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Okay, you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Okay, second. Second, please. Employees. Employees, employees are not are allowed, allowed to, to smoke. smoke. Okay, employees are not allowed to smoke. Okay. Number three. Teacher, I have a question for uh, three. For the number uh, three. Is correct and in or two? 
Talking about number number three. Three. Uh -huh. It is not. It is not allowed in bring children or to, to bring, bring children. To, to bring to bring. Entonces es un, es un error ahí. Sí, ahí hay otro mistake. Sí. Okay, the right one is it's not allowed to bring children. Okay. Number four. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. Okay, excellent. And the last one, please. People. Are not people allowed to check people in late. Are, people? People are not alone to check in late. Late, okay. Okay, excellent. I hope that all of you resolve it. Espero que todos lo hayan resuelto. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me see who is going to be with me today. I guess that is going to be Maria Idalia, creo. No, let me see. Let me check up. Today is going to be here with me is Maria Dalia Hernandez Palacios. Is there, are you there Maria Dalia? No, Maria, Maria. Maria. She is not here. Yes, not here, Jesus. Well, okay. What can we do? Que podemos hacer? Okay, um, I want to thank you. This is the review. Uh, that means that today uh, you had the midterm. It is open, you can do it tomorrow. It's a review about all the topics that we have started, right? Es como un repaso de, de todo lo que hemos estudiado, ¿cierto? Ok, entonces la señorita no está con nosotros. Let me check out the assistant the last time, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Gerson Manuel. Present. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karina Noemi. Present. Linda Iber. Present teacher. Maria Idalia Hernandez. It's not here, okay. Eh, Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present teacher. Eh, Nancy. Nancy. Richard. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Rafael. Hello, Rafael. Raquel, you did? Raquel, you did? Reinaldo. Present teacher. Tuleima, Veronica. Present teacher. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. 
Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana Cristina. Ah, ahí estaba Ana Cristina. Ok, I know that it's late. I want to thank you to be here with me. Tomorrow we are going to start a new week and try to solve all the activities that you have in the platform. Tratemos de resolver todas las actividades que tenemos en la plataforma, espacio y con una letra. Ok. Uh, well, I feel happy because uh, I've been seeing that you got uh, good results in the in exercises. And that is pretty good. Ok. Then... Okay, good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good tomorrow, good night. tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, it's not here. I don't know if somebody of you wants to be here. No sé si alguien de ustedes quiere quedarse. Solo una consulta. Hoy hay oh. que entregar el intermedio, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Ok, ok. Judith, you have question, Judith? Si está hablando, no le estoy oyendo. Se me desconectó al momento de pasar la lista. Ah, oh, really? Sí. Let me check up. Let me see. ¿Cuál es el primer nombre suyo? Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Yes. Yes, it is. Sí, ahí está. No se preocupe. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. Welcome. Sorry. Suleyma. Eh, perdón, Ana Cristina. No sé si va a quedar también, ¿verdad? Tal no, vez no. no puede. Cinco minutos cada una. No problem, es que, no problem. Ok, I can help you. Ok, no problem at es all. Que, es que estoy intentando hacer el del intermedio, pero no le he captado el, el, el alón de que estuvimos haciendo. Ah, no sé por qué ah. no me lo deja, no me lo, de, no me lo valida como, como bueno. Mm -hmm. Ok. Por eso me quería quedar. Ok, I'm going to give you some tips. Le voy a dar algunas pistas, ok. But I can give you exactly the answer. No les puedo dar exactamente las respuestas. But let me see. Exercise number. Ejerc ejercicio número. Es el ejercicio número. Eh, del, del cuatro, cuatro de la sección mini. Eh, voy a compartir para que vean. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Permítame, permítame. Uh, ok, I got it. Exercise number. Este. Ejercicio número. Four. Ah, the one, two, three, four. Okay, I got it. You to cheat on an exam. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Ya vi cuál es el error. Yes. Ya me vio. <laughs> en ese caso está en mayúscula la primera. Yes, it is. Y ya tenemos inicial mayúscula. No lo haga ahorita, lo hace después. No podemos estar viendo la respuesta. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the same happened in the in the second one, I guess. Ah, and, okay. Entonces eso era que le puesto mayúscula. Yes, because uh, the capital letter is going to be at the beginning, and uh, you already and you already have the personal pronoun here. Um, bueno, ya he estado quitándole, poniéndole. Oh. <laughs> okay, if you want, you can. Uh, Stop sharing and try. Si quiere, deje de compartir y, y trate de, de, 
Ah, ok. De seguir la sugerencia y manténgase ahí, no hay problema. Ok. Ok, ok. What about you, Ana Cristina? En el 10, en la tarea 10, es que tengo, donde tengo que ordenar. Déjame, sí. No sé. Se hace el orden. No sé si me puede como explicar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok, ok, ok. Hold on. Hold on a second. Ok. Ah, that is number 10. Yes. Yes. Okay, let me show you here. In four. Okay, hold on, hold on. Se lo voy a mostrar, pero no es que le voy a dar las answers, sino que solo para explicarle, ok? Sí, que sea que me explicara tal vez como la oración, quizás mi orden. No lo estoy haciendo como ustedes. Okay, I got it here. Uh, which number? ¿Qué número? Eh, no me parece lo mismo. Excuse me? No me esto que a usted le aparece no me aparece a mí. Hmm. This is number 10. Okay. Dame second. Sí, tarea 10. De esa misma también tengo yo problema en la número 4. Ok, 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 ok. Hold on. Uh, do you want to share it? Solo, solo, ah, pero no tiene respuestas ahí todavía, ¿cierto? Sí, tengo respuesta en la 1 y en la 2. Mm. Pero la número 4 y 5 no me la valida. Ok, Ana Cristina, eh, usted no tiene respuestas ahí todavía. ¿O sí? Tiene, porque no me salía. Para proyectar. Yes, para, para verla, sí. Because you said there is not the same that I have. Can you do it? No, no, no se puede. Okay, if you can do it, um, so Leima, you can do it. Eh, no, la número no. cuatro y las cinco, este, las otras sí las logré hacer. No, 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 que si usted tiene el ejercicio que dice ella y lo puede proyectar, pero que no tenga respuestas. Permíteme, solo le voy a mover. Vale, la voy a, la voy a borrar. Ok, because lo que, lo que, what I want to do is just to explain you how you are going to solve it. That's not mean that I'm going to give you the answer. Este es el ejercicio 10. Ok. The instruction said, la instrucción dice, mire, complete the following question using is there or are there. Parecido, parecido a lo que ya estuvimos haciendo de los ejercicios. Uh -huh. Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. What you need to take into account is the word that you have here, if, if it is singular or plural. Ok. Sí. Eso es lo que va a tomar en cuenta para usar. La parte 2 es la que no puedo, la de abajo. Ah, ok. Scroll down, scroll down. Veamos la parte 2. This one. Esta es la parte 2, la 4 y la 5. Sí, Ok, instruction. Scramble the following sentences. Tie them on the spaces provided. Ordene, dice, miren. Ordene las siguientes oraciones. Escríbalas en los espacios dados. Recuerde usar letra inicial mayúscula at the beginning of your sentence and a period at the end. Y un punto al final. Ahí está el detalle. And these are the same like the exercise that we did. Y estas son eh, 
del ejercicio último que hicimos. Sí, teacher. Ok. Take into, account, take into account this, that you need to use capital letter and the point at the end, the period at the end. Okay. 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 Thank you. Stop, stop sharing, please. Okay. Deje de compartir, por favor. Okay, 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 okay. Now try to do it. Following the instruction that I gave you. La instrucción de la ocho tips que debo de hacer. En nombre completo. Tarea ocho. Ah, the instruction was off. Okay, let me see. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Bye bye, Ana Cristina. Porque el puesto no dice. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Okay, instruction of number I said read the following sentences and complete them using the proper form of not allowed. Pay attention to the pronouns. Lea las siguientes oraciones y complétela usando la, pro, la forma propia de not allowed. Ponga atención a los pronombres. You. Pero, ay, eso, solo eso debo de completar en la oración o debo completar todo. No, let me see. Only yes. Uh, Yo pongo alowa, digamos, como respuesta y me sale mal. Really? Yo Maybe. solo contesto como dice you, yo completo, you are alowa. Ok, let me see. Me sale. Completo toda la oración, pero también me sale mal. No, but, but in this case, in number one, how do you say? Como, como, how do you write? You, this is you do cheat on, on an exam. Uh -huh, okay. You are allowed to chat on an exam. Mm. You need to be careful because you need to understand what is the meaning of the complement. Tiene que tener cuidado porque tiene que saber eh, el complemento, qué es lo que significa. Porque dependiendo del complemento, puede ser que sea uh, que no está permitido o que sí está permitido. Uh, ya, 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 ya. Tiene que saber el significado para que pueda decir porque... Mire, le, lea la instrucción. Aquí está, de la instrucción. Creo, que, cre, creo que sí le di la, la, la el tips. <laughs> ok. If you have uh, any problem, just send me a message by the WhatsApp group. Ok. That, thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.